so in last class we have covered the three sutras i will repeat it in short once again like suppose take any event for example uh, purchase of vehicle okay purchase of vehicle so the karaka of vehicle is venus okay and the house that is responsible for the vehicle is fourth house am i right okay so whenever whenever yes, we want to see about the vehicle and all we need to at least remember these two things first is karak planet and the house planet is venus house is fourth house for vehicle purchase for gain of vehicle like this okay either it's a car or bike or bicycle any kind of vehicle domestic vehicle i'm talking about okay person vehicle so this is thing now as per those sutras the first thing is you have to see fourth house from lagna okay and the karaka planet venus and the fourth house from venus okay so during the current running dasha i am talking about only dasha planet for now okay current ruling dasha planet if connected to these three things suppose if dasha is of jupiter and jupiter is with venus in the chart or jupiter is aspected by venus and jupiter is also connected with the fourth house and the third rule is fourth house from venus If the current ruling dasha planet is connected with these all these three parameters so we can say yes during that particular dasha this native can see some events related to vehicle am i correct this is what we have studied in the last session okay so in today's session what we will study is we will see the how how planets are connected to each other okay like uh, current dasha is jupiter and the karaka planet is venus so in how many ways venus and jupiter can be connected to each other okay these things we will study today how many ways they can connect and second thing is how planets and house are connected if you know these two parameters if you know these two uh, things connection of planet to planet and planet to house then you can easily understand the uh, the result that planet is giving okay so we will see one by one okay so before we move to the planet to planet relation <coughs> i will show you some basic points of relationship just wait i'm sharing i will upload the complete ppt in the thank you fake but for now just to understand this concept read this okay so two planets are said to be in sambandha sambandha means connection connection exchange relation okay connection or relation you can say anything not five okay two planets are said to be in the relation are connected to each other in the following ways 
so the first is they are placed in each other sign okay for example if moon is placed in the aquarius and saturn is placed in the cancer this is called exchange i think exchange is clear to all this is very basic concept but still this is very important if you want to understand the relationship between these two planets okay suppose if moon is in aquarius aquarius is sign of saturn so moon is connected with the saturn and saturn is in cancer they have exchange it means moon and saturn are strongly connected to each other so whenever moon delivers the result it automatically gives the result of saturn also and same thing applies to saturn okay so this is the first important thing any doubt in this uh one doubt let's say if uh, moon is placed in saturn sign but saturn is not placed in moon so still they are connected or not yeah that that uh, that we will see in next sutras okay but for now just uh, uh, understand about the exchange so if you have any question in this exchange concept then let me know okay i think no then move to the next one i will come to that uh, that point also now this is a second point okay when the two planets are in the same sign it means suppose saturn and moon both have placed in the leo it means they both are in association they both are connected okay so this kind of thing you can see in many many charts so either moon delivers the result saturn delivers the result they will get the properties and characteristics of both planets this is also very simple to understand now see the third this is the third one the third one the honor of sign it projects an aspect to planet in that sign it means suppose if mercury is placed in the aries sign aries is ruled by mars and mars is aspecting mercury it means mars shall be in the sambandha it means mars and mercury both are connected now we shall be uh, for your question suppose the planet is in uh, moon is in aquarius okay but saturn is not aspecting saturn is also not in the moon sign then what will happen then moon then moon is connected to saturn but saturn is not connected to moon okay okay moon is connected to saturn why because moon is placed in the aquarius sign simple okay but when you when you uh, when you, when you say when you decode the mahadasha result or any result of the planet moon planet then you have to include the properties of saturn also but when you predict the events of saturn then don't include moon then it becomes a one way connection uh, sorry sir can you repeat this i didn't understand yeah so i'm saying suppose if moon is in aquarius yes sir let me take one chart let's do it because this is very important now you need south indian chart na okay uh, neeraj can you share any random chart jehora yes yes i am sharing yes umesh ji you can unmute 
So what I wanted to ask in the example that you had given that uh, Aries, mm -hmm. Mercury is in Aries mm -hmm. and Mars is aspecting Mercury. Yeah. But uh, in that case, where is Mars located? That Mars, is not in Mars can be located anywhere right? because Mars have three aspects. Fourth aspect, seventh aspect, eighth aspect. Okay. Mars can deliver any kind of aspect. But the point is, Mars is the lord of that sign where Mercury is sitting. Correct. Okay, suppose yeah. if Mars is not aspecting, okay, then Mars is not connected. Moon is connected with the Mars because Moon is in the Aries sign. Mercury. Moon can uh, give the result of Mars, but Mars will not give the result of Moon until and unless it. Uh, either either it's placed in the moon uh, with with moon or it's aspect the moon then only mars have influence on moon are you getting me if mars is not aspecting moon then moon can give the result of mars due to its placement in the aries sign okay but when you predict the results of mars then you will not predict the result of moon why? Because you have to think, Mars is having two signs, Aries and Scorpio. Mars can give the result of Aries also, Scorpio also. Now that depends. If Mars gives the result of Scorpio, then you don't have to include Moon. But when you, when you, when you see Aries is activating where Moon is sitting, at that time, Mars can give the result of Moon. That we will see in the example charts. See, this is a chart. Okay, let's take any planet. Here, moon is in the Pisces sign, 8th house. Okay. So, during moon Mahadasha, or during moon major period, moon can give the result of 8th house, Pisces sign, also Jupiter. It will hold the properties of Jupiter. Okay. And also the but, but here you can see Jupiter is neither aspecting moon nor it's located with the moon. Jupiter is not connected with the moon directly by any moon. Okay. The mistake what we uh, doing is we think Jupiter can also give the result of moon because why? Because moon is in the Pisces sign. This is a big mistake what we are doing. Are you getting me what I am trying to say? Sir, here, uh, okay, okay. Suppose let us say here Jupiter is aspecting Cancer means then should we consider? Jupiter, suppose, suppose Jupiter is aspecting Cancer, okay. Yes, sir. So, the energy of Jupiter will not reach to Moon through Rashi. If suppose if Moon is in the Cancer sign and Jupiter is aspecting Moon, then then you can consider Jupiter Moon are connected. Okay, but by only aspecting Rashi without planet, those are not connected. Okay. Okay, like in this example, Jupiter and Venus both are in the fifth house. They are aspecting 11th house. So it means they are aspecting only 11th house, not Mercury. Uh, sir, can I ask a question, please? Yes. Uh, sir, uh, uh, sir, Saturn is uh, aspecting Venus and Saturn is uh, in Venus sign. So yeah. will that be also a relation or a combination, yes. sir? Yes. Yes. It means they both are connected. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. And sir, uh, Mirko, uh, I think that uh, Moon will give result only Pisces sign, not of whole Jupiter yeah. planet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because see, you have to differentiate between these energies. Then, the, then only you can uh, able to predict very clearly. Because every time what mistake we are doing is, we are including every kind of possibilities. But sir, in this case, uh, Saturn is connected with Venus, but uh, Venus is not connected with Saturn, no, sir? No, Venus is also, because you can see here, 
Saturn is aspecting Venus, but Saturn is also located in the Venus sign, na? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sir. If Saturn is not located in with the in the in the Libra sign, then we can say yes, Venus is not connected. Yes, yes, right, sir. Where uh, are you understanding? Uh, where where you can use this principle? Because when you when you uh, when you start predicting with the Desha, okay, with the major period sub period planets like this, or if you use Bhagu Chakra Padati or Yogini Padati, at that time you have to. Play with one planet. Suppose if Dasha is of Jupiter, okay, then you have to consider Jupiter as a central point, and from that Jupiter you have to predict all events. So it so this is very crucial to uh, understand how Jupiter is connected with every other area. How many times Jupiter is connecting? This is very important to understand. Otherwise, we will make Uh, blunders in our production. I will But, show you how how you can use and all these things. So in this way, in the, the Mahadasha of Jupiter, it will give the results. No, the other yes. planet. Yeah. Okay. Planet and houses also. I will talk about houses. How houses are connected. So we will see that uh, that thing also. So example, you said earlier, you said that Jupiter and Moon will. Uh, Uh, moon is connected to uh, jupiter but mm. jupiter is not connected to moon mm. but when you talked about saturn and venus yeah. uh, then you said that saturn is in libra so venus is also connected so there is some confusion at least I, it's not clear to well, me i'm saying see uh, there is difference between uh, saturn and moon here okay let's let's say first saturn okay saturn is in libra sign mm -hmm. and saturn is aspecting venus Yes. So Saturn is aspecting Venus. It means it's connected to Venus automatically. Saturn is yeah. Saturn is connected to Venus. Yes. Now, But what about now? Venus? Now Saturn is in Libra sign. That's why Venus is also connected with the Saturn. But it won't it be the same thing with Jupiter then? No. That moon is in Pisces, so Jupiter will be also connected to Moon. Here, see, until or unless if Jupiter is not aspecting Moon, see. Okay. In previous okay. example, Saturn and Venus, they both are connected to each other. Okay, it means when Venus activates, it will also give the result of Saturn, and uh -huh. when Saturn activates, it will also give the result of Venus. Uh huh. Okay. This is not in the case of Jupiter and Moon. Okay. Why? Because when Moon is when Moon activates, it will it can give the result of Jupiter. Okay. Okay, but okay. when Jupiter activates, it will not give the result of Moon. Moon. Okay. 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 Are you getting me? So moon can deliver the result of eighth house, but not the, not of moon. Jupiter can give result of eighth house, but not of moon. Not That's of what moon. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Jupiter can okay. give the result of moon only in the case when in transit, Jupiter comes in the eighth house, or it starts okay. at the eighth house. Then only. Then only. Okay. Not okay. every time, okay. But okay. here, Saturn and Venus can give the result of both every time, whether they reach in transit or not. It doesn't matter. Okay, so so in they are so totally related. Okay, so if a planet is expecting, so it means whether the other planet is expecting it or not, whether it's a seven houses, like not every planet can expect each other if they are not in seven yeah. house to each other. So, but the both planets will. Give each other can give each other's results. Yes. Okay. okay like you, you can you can consider them like as a brother sister. Okay. 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 Cousins or yes, thank cousin, you. Cousin sister brother sister and friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the, yeah. the relationship between Jupiter and Moon you can consider it as a friends. Okay. So we have friends like I am considering Neeraj as a friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can do anything for Neeraj. Okay. But Neeraj is not considering me as a friend because maybe Neeraj's life. He is having some mm -hmm. other uh, priority friends. friends. Yeah, okay. okay. He can do uh, anything for them, sir, but not for me. Okay, okay. Are you getting okay. me? Thank so you. This is yeah. Thank you. Sun and moon. Okay. Moon, thank moon you. Moon can give both result. Okay. Moon can give their result also and Jupiter result also. Jupiter is not giving the result of moon directly. Because okay. Thank these, you. Because these small small things are very important. 
Sir, but your third sutra is other way around, right? Sorry. Yes, Vishalji. Uh, I was asking, your third sutra is other way around. There you were saying that Mars has to expect his own house where Mercury is situated. But yeah. here Saturn is expecting uh, the Lord of uh, house where it is placed, right? Yeah. So this is this is something else. Okay, but in this way, they both are connected. Okay, and uh, and in our third sutra, uh, according to third, but third sutra is not applicable in this chart. I have not seen any combination in this chart. But I think that is clear to your third sutra. If not, mm -hmm. I can share you uh, once again. Just wait. Yeah, exchange yoga is there. This is our third rule. The honor of sign projects an aspect to planet in that sign. For example, if Mercury is placed in the Aries, okay, Mercury, see, Mercury is placed in the Aries, it means Mercury can give the result of Mars. This is clear, first point. Okay, but Mars will not give the result of Mercury directly. But the but this sutra is saying one more point. Suppose if Mars is aspecting Aries sign, then Mars shall be in the Sambandha. Then Mars shall be in the association with the Mercury. But sir, one, one way Sambandha. See, uh, yeah, I will mark it. Suppose if I remove this, now read it. Now read it. Okay. The honor of sign. Remove this thing also. Let's uh, do it. If Mercury is placed in the Aries sign, then then what will be the result? Mercury can give the result of Mars. Okay. But Mars will not give the result of Mercury. Okay. This is what I am trying to say. Okay. Mars can only give the result if this uh, uh, this condition is fulfilled, underlined condition. Mars projects an aspect to it. Then only Mercury and Mars is in Sambandha. Okay. Because in many horoscopes, you will find difficulty to establish a relationship between planets. You will search in D9 chart, you will search in Nakshatra, you will chart, search in some other divisional charts, but you will forget this basic concept. Okay. Till now we are uh, taking both, the, both planets, actually Mercury and Mars. Yeah. Okay, okay. So ultimately, for uh, rule number three, Mars and Mercury both are in Sambandha, so they will give the result whenever their dasha or their house activates, they can give the result of both. Yes, Swarupji, you have raised your hands. Just one question I had, like I understood this uh, technicalities. You made the st statement that, you know, moon gives the result of Jupiter. Hmm. So, I just wanted to know what it means when you say that, you know, moon gives, moon the, gives the result of Jupiter means moon can give the result of fifth house. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. now it's clear. Yeah. Yeah. Suppose, okay. suppose if I want to see whether there is a, a, a event of childbirth in the moon dasha. Okay. okay. Then, you know, moon is in the passive sign in the eighth house, but, but eighth house is not for the childbirth. Yes. But you know, the Lord of Passive Sign, Lord of Eighth House, is in the fifth house. It means during Moon Dasha, okay. during Moon Dasha, childbirth event can take place. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. But when but what is the meaning of Jupiter is not gonna explain this thing very clearly. During Jupiter, the suppose Pisces sign falls in the 8th house. 
okay moon is the lord of cancer okay so in which house cancer sign falls 12th house 12th house 12th house what house 12th house okay 12th house now see during jupiter dasha during jupiter dasha jupiter is already lord of 8th house so it can give the result of 8th house but jupiter will not deliver the result of 12th house because jupiter is not connected with the moon i will i will uh, show you with example nearest can you share the chart once again vinayak sir aap jo blank chart banate ho us pe samjha sakte ho kya blank chart banana padega uske liye acha theek hai chalega no 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 problem uh, i will try but uh, uh, try to understand this example first okay ये एनोट कैसे होगा नीरज मेरे मानिए ऑप्शन आएगा भैया ये थ्री डॉट होगा आपके में वहां देखिए मैं मैं कोई कोई भी डॉट नहीं आ रहा अच्छा मैं एनोट कर देता हूं यहां से हां तो मैं नोट करो मैं बताता हूं तुम्हें ना सो नाउ सी इफ यू वांट टू सी द रिजल्ट ऑफ मून ओके वेदर इन मून मून पीरियड child birth is possible or not okay so child birth means we have to see the fifth house so moon is connected with the jupiter how because moon is in the pisces sign the lord of pisces sign is jupiter jupiter is in the fifth house okay so through jupiter moon is connected with the fifth house now understand this relationship why we are studying this relationship because we have to establish the connection between houses also so during moon dasha moon can give the event of child okay but if i want to see the expenses during jupiter let's talk about jupiter mahadasha now okay so expenses means 12th house expenses losses means 12th house okay now their sign is cancer sign now what mistake we do is we we think during jupiter mahadasha 12th house is also activated through moon why because moon is in the pisces sign are you getting me we are thinking in the reverse manner but in jupiter mahadasha you will not see any expenses because jupiter is not connected with the moon so when i say not connected with the moon i mean Jupiter is not connected with the Cancer sign. Because when you see this connection with the Moon, so Moon is connected with the fifth house through Jupiter. But but here Jupiter is not connected with the twelfth house with Moon. Their energy is not transferring to the fourth house. This is a one-way communication. Are you getting me? If not, don't worry. Just listen this uh, this uh, this lecture at least two three times. Then you will understand it. And in this case, we can say that Jupiter is in no way connected with Moon. Moon is connected with Jupiter, is it? Yes. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, sir, can I ask a question? Yeah. Sir, uh, can we say like this that uh, Jupiter works with his signs like Sagittarius and Pisces hmm. and uh this is is two hands to work in the chart yeah. and and pisces sign is uh, uh pisces have moon so i i think maybe i am wrong mm. that it in working of jupiter in its madasha mm. then uh, moon in pisces means pisces energy have always influence of moon means moon yeah. effect we will see suppose uh, i i have uh, seen in the charts that if rahu is in cancer sign mm. whatever uh, moon may be exalted of that person but still he has disturbed mind all of his life yeah that is true so what i'm respected sir what i'm trying to say that your uh, uh, moon is in pisces sign and uh, what i'm trying to say that in whole mahadasha in whole what are jupiter what will do in the Ju uh, jupiter jupiter uh, results will always have a taste of moon 
because his 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 hands has uh, moon is placed in his Pisces sign. Yeah, it's energy. Yeah, it? yeah, it's true. See, uh, now we have to understand the difference. Okay, so I am not uh, saying like in Jupiter Mahadasha. Jupiter Mahadasha, you will see the flavor of moon. Okay, because that Pisces sign also with the Jupiter. Okay. I am saying when I say when I say sambandha, when I say relation, so relationship between planets, it means they are also connected with their sign. Okay. You have to be very clear in this point. When I when we say connected, so connected is not only planets. Their signs are also connected. It means when we, it, it it means when we say uh, Saturn and Venus are connected. Okay, so it means Saturn Venus are connected. Also, their signs are also connected. They are both signs. Okay, but when we say Jupiter and Moon, okay, so Moon can give the result of both signs, Pisces and Sagittarius. Also, Cancer. These three sign result moon can give. Okay, but Jupiter, Jupiter can only give the result of fifth and eighth, not of the cancer sign. Are you understanding now? Yes, sir. Very well. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, yes sir. My okay. So during Jupiter result, during Jupiter phase. Jupiter will not deliver the result of cancer sign. Cancer sign falls in the 12th house in this chart. 